Moving along, Lowe's is getting a boost after delivering a mixed earnings report. Same store sales missed Wall Street estimates, and this comes just a day after its rival Home Depot fell on disappointing quarterly results. And joining us now to discuss is Jeff Small, president of Arbor Financial and author of the new book, Turning Financial Planning Right Side Up. Jeff, it is great to have you here with us today. So investors kind of mixed on what's happening with lows here. There are some positives, though. It did close up 2.5%. Guidance was positive. So what are the positives that we're looking at here? Well, there's lots of positives, but I feel like we're in a prize fight between Home Depot and Lowe's because Home Depot trended down for the day. They lost about $4 per share, and Lowe's was actually rewarded for underperforming. And so, but the reality is the market is rewarding Lowe's because the same store comp sales between Home Depot, which has been vastly superior historically, are getting closer and closer. The margin was between domestically 2.4% comp sales for Lowe's and 3.7% for Home Depot. So that's only a 1.3% difference. So, you know, Lowe's is starting to shrink that gap as they make more improvements in their same store sales. It's interesting that both of them cited the weak housing market as a reason why they did see a quarter that was less than what everyone expected. But it's interesting because just nine months ago, you had the CFO of Home Depot saying, if you do have a weak housing market, then in theory, that means people are going to do more home renovation projects. But why are they shifting the tone here is the big question, Jeff. Well, Home Depot knows as well as Lowe's that the average homeowner that keeps their house for the long term will spend about $80,000 on their house. And they're planning on getting a large chunk of that change for improvements over the years. But now we're seeing a massive rift or maybe a lot of consumer spending that's not happening anymore. We're seeing declines in retail, restaurants, purchases, real estate, consumers. And so we're seeing a lot of declines in consumer spending. So people are starting to pull back. And Home Depot and Lowe's are not going to be impenetrable from that fall off in consumer spending. So a lot of people have cited Home Depot and Lowe's as the few types of retail companies that are immune to the Amazon effects because people still want to go in person and look at things uh, in real life when it comes to home improvement. Do you think that's still the case, Jeff? You know, I, I really do because people want to see what they're buying and they want to touch what they're buying. They're, it's a tangible purchase where, you know, with Amazon, it's about how do I get something that I want for the lowest price? And so people aren't going to shop on Amazon for equipment that they're going to buy at Home Depot for self home improvement stuff or at Lowe's as well. You want to actually physically go to the store. So, um, you know, bricks will be clicks every time in that kind of a scenario. Do you think that Amazon could potentially launch, because Amazon is trying to get more into the physical space, opening up their cashierless stores, their Amazon four-star stores, et cetera, does it make sense for someone like Amazon to swoop in and say, I'm actually going to maybe acquire a company like this or launch my own? Well, it, it might make sense if they want to get into that space, but right now they're not really venturing into that space, and for good reason. I think they're focusing on other areas. But I think Amazon really needs to focus on improving their margins. If postal rates go up $1, they're going to be running red ink. Hmm. What other factors are driving the consumer spending in these two companies, Lowe's and Home Depot? Well, I think, uh, you know, what really happened was in December and from October to December of last year, you know, we had the 19.8% correction on the markets mm -hmm. and that really dampened consumer spending in general. Consumer spending will pick back up in February and the numbers for both Lowe's and Home Depot, at least on the retail side of the equation, will begin to improve. I mean, I think the consumer spending outlook this year is to be fairly decent, maybe a 4% rise year over year and with GDP projected to be around 2.5%. But we are seeing a slowdown across the board. Now, nobody understands the slowdown effect. A few weeks ago, I noticed short interest going up in the real estate sector, in the home improvement sector, of stock, in the stock market. And I said, you know what? There's something going on in the economy. We're starting to see real estate really slow down considerably. Yeah. And I think I made this call a few weeks ago when I was on your show that, you know, the mortgage fall off applications that we had 25% last quarter was not just for the big banks. It's across the entire real estate sector. And in every aspect of financing, we're seeing things fall off. And if people right. aren't buying homes 
then they certainly aren't going to be going down to Home Depot for improvements. Jeff, just want to jump in real quick here uh, with the little bit of time we have left. Weather, we typically see that play some type of role in their commentary coming out of the winter and then even summer with the hurricane season at the tail end of it, uh, the summer quarters as well. And so how closely do you think both of these companies are watching what has been extremely frigid temperatures in some parts of the U.S. here? Well, that was part of the problem why Canada's same, same store sales were down for Lowe's, um, and it brought them down to 1.7% versus 2.4% domestically on a comp basis. But I think the reality is they're both listening to it very intently. Um, you know, and, and markets are cyclical, economies, economics are cyclical, consumer buying patterns are cyclical. So we're going to start to see, see things slow down a little bit. I don't see these stocks crashing, but I am not putting new money into these stocks at this time. All right, Jeff Small, who's the president of Arbor Financial and author of the book, Turning Financial Planning Right Side Up. Jeff, great to see you here today. Thank you so much.